Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back. My name is Nadia and Sands. This, of course, is Learn How to Edit Stuff. And today, I'm going to force you to change your organizational habits when it comes to video editing. Now, how many of you are manually creating folders and naming them every single time you start a project? Or how many of you psychopaths are just throwing everything into one single folder? You must be thinking there has to be a better way. Introducing Post Haste by Digital Rebellion, a free program that changed my life, and it will almost certainly change yours too. Post Haste is a program that with just a few clicks, it will automatically create a folder structure for you the exact same way for every single project. The custom template I use, which you can download in the video description below, will give you After Effects and Premiere project files, a fairly robust media folder complete with everything you need to stay organized, a color grade folder for those adventurous enough to use DaVinci Resolve for color grading if you want to, and exports, both rough and final exports. Now, I've mentioned Post Haste before in passing on my channel and in previous videos, and I really felt like it needed a dedicated video on my channel because bad organization and bad habits lead to bad editing. And I know that if you're watching this video and you're subscribed to learn how to edit stuff and you smash that MF and thumbs up button, that you're not a bad editor. And I can't sleep at night knowing I have bad editors watching my videos. So just use Post Haste, get your organization in check, get your whole system figured out, and it's just gonna make you sleep better at night. I'm sleep We're all sleeping better at night. Now, hopefully this will and should force you to remain organized with all of your projects. So any still images that you need in your project should always go into the still images folder. It will make your life so much less complicated. Please trust me. So when you download the program, it comes complete with its own set of templates. If you care to use any of these, you can if you want, but I'm gonna show you guys how to build your own custom templates because I think that's more powerful. Now, right away with all the given templates, you see that there's project files on the right-hand side that are just called template. And while this doesn't look like much, to me, this is one of the coolest parts and most powerful parts about this program. So what I want you guys to do is open up a completely blank Premiere Pro project, and I want you to start adding your own folders into the project panel. So something like footage, something else, something different, and so on. By the way, if you use numbers at the beginning of your naming conventions, it will force alphabetical order for your folders, and I do recommend that. It just keeps things nice and organized. Anyways, create your own unique folders inside of this Premiere project, and then just save the project to your desktop and save it as template. That's it, just template. Now, moving back over into Post Haste, we're going to create our own template, but first we're gonna change a couple of the default preferences. So in the preferences, by default, Post Haste adds a project number and user to the data generated for your folder, which to me is completely unnecessary, so just delete those, click delete, and just run with client, project, and date only. That's all you should need. So now under the Templates tab in the bottom left, click Add to make a new template. And for this example, I'm just going to make a project files folder to show you the reason that we created a template project. But again, you guys can make this whatever works best for your workflow. Or of course, I'm gonna recommend downloading the template in the project file below because I spent time on it and it works for me, it might work for you. Anyways, we're gonna make a new folder and call it 01 project files. And then inside of that folder, we're going to add another folder and call it Premiere. Now, if you right click the template name on the left hand side and choose show in Explorer, you can navigate to the Premiere Pro folder you just created and then drag and drop the template project file into that folder. Now, when you go to use your Post Haste template and you create your folder structure, Post Haste will automatically name your project file with the name that you gave it. So it automatically forces good habits and good organization. Then on top of that, when you open up that Premiere Pro project, you'll see that all of your own custom folders are there, and that will be the baseline standard for every single project you open up and start working on. Forced organization, forced good habits is gonna make your life so much easier. Trust your old pal, Naughty and Sands from Lord How to Add Stuff. I know a thing or two because I've seen a thing or two. Smash that subscribe button, hit that, th leave a comment in the comment section, but anyways. Now, if you're smart and you downloaded my template, you won't have to worry about this as much, but if you create your own template, it's good to try to match your Premiere folders with the folders inside of your Post Haste project, which will even further force your organizational habits. Footage goes in footage, music goes in music, etc. And because I know you're smart and you want to install my template, all you have to do is right click any of the templates in Post Haste, click show in Explorer, and then drag and drop that folder into the root folder on your computer, restart Post Haste, and it will be available for you to use. 
And that's it. Post haste. You now have the secrets to the universe, the keys to unlimited success, and everything you need is in the links in the video description below. Post haste. Free. My template. Free. Subscribing to this channel. Free. Liking this video. Free. Leaving a comment in the comment section below. Free. You get the point, all right? I'm happy to give this information to you because it was so helpful to me. Even if you're a novice, you're not an amateur, You can anybody can use this program and anybody can stay organized and stay happy and healthy in their brain and in their workflow processes. So that's it. I've got nothing else for you. Links in the video description below that will help you, that will support me. You can follow me on social media. Everything you need is in the link tree and in the links in the video description below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. If you are not subscribed to learn how to edit stuff, what are you even doing? Make sure you smash that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.